Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chariant series here with myself, Critical Rocket, and we are with the Spooder still. This is another version of the 7 series, this is the 7K2 uh, version I believe. Uh, this was a, another production from House Curita uh, by Nima Kachi. Uh, they were a company that were responsible for a number of uh, Curitan designs over the centuries. And this particular model is uh, considered to be a Scout Hunter in that, uh, again, it's very fast moving, it has a decent number of jump jets, and uh, it has the ability to punch targets at very long range. It has a single ER large laser. Uh, keeping in the theme of the spiders of not being particularly well armed for their size, uh, they uh, do suffer, again, in one-on-one -on -one conflict, or any in kind of encounters with larger mechs, so they rely entirely on their speed and their maneuverability to quickly get in and out, and uh, this mech works well as a nice scout vehicle. Uh, it's uh, probably equipped with a tag laser if you wanted to modify it in any way. you probably do quite well with this thing, obviously with certain skills to increase the range of the weapon and to also allow you maybe to uh, stay at range as well with some speed tweak and such, because I don't think I've got speed tweak on this version. I'm running about 150 yard uh, KPH, so it's pretty damn good. Obviously, it has all kinds of deficiencies, though. I mean, compared to the previous one, which we saw, which was the 7K, with its two medium pulses, this is one that can't really brawl so much, and it's one that relies entirely on probably my big bugbear of the large or ER large laser equipped mechs, especially on lights, is hanging back and trying to just pinprick stuff and blowing limbs off that way. Basically, not so much helping your teams as much as uh, trying to draw enemies' attention to you, so they're not paying attention to the rest of your team who may hopefully be moving into a stronger position to attack. Uh, as such, uh, this version can work on that quite well. Obviously maps like Polar Highlands and Alpine Peaks and the such, it's a great mech for those kind of encounters, especially since it does have the ability to outrun most enemy light mechs that you might come across. And as long as you don't go out way too far away from your team, you can at least a dragon enemy that might be able to keep up with you back toward friendlies and hopefully they can deal with them for you. It's I think it's one of the, the problems with the spider being introduced in the first place is that uh, when it when it encounters anything that isn't uh, another light it really struggles and it can only really do any serious damage when it's supporting larger units and it's not being focused. I mean, it's a great mech for being able to avoid fire to harass people, but this isn't a mech you're going to take because you want to get kills. And I'm sure there are some people out there who says, oh, I've done loads of damage to my spiders, you know, all this, that, and the other. Yes, machine, the machine gun build spiders were incredibly uh, powerful at once upon a time. There are a few of us that did some decent damage, and I'm sure there have been those occasional matches where you can sit back with sniping weapons like the ER Large and pick off quite a few uh, limbs or do a fair amount of damage, but it's not a consistent score. It's not the kind of thing you can do again and again and again with you know, repeated effect. This is one of those very situational mechs. Um, for anyone who never played Mech Royal Line when it was first introduced, this was a mech that had uh, an infamous reputation. Many people hated the spider and loved it in equal measure because when it, the version of ECM was introduced, it was incredibly powerful. Uh, you, you couldn't hit the little fucker. It, because the ECM and the lack of any host state rewind meant that anyone playing with a ping over a certain amount was virtually indestructible. You could hit the thing with several SRMs point blank range and it would barely register the damage provided it was moving maybe 50 kph. Uh, coupled with at the time the ECM having such a ridiculous effect, uh, the bubble effect was massive, you could cover entire teams with a single spider at times. Uh, this is back when it was 8v8, not 12v12. It, it, it made the, the spider pretty much a, a, a must-have light mech, and uh, for that reason I think a lot of people loved it, and then PGI eventually got things like host state running, and and uh, you know systems like ECM were eventually nerfed, which thank god they were, and uh, you know other changes, other new mechs coming into the field has kind of greatly diminished the impact that the spider has on the battlefield of today, and I think it's very rare for you to see consistent use of spiders in any kind of combat role. Nowadays PGI have tried to make them more of a, a scout capping mech, which is at least is more in tune with their actual battlefield role. They are meant to gather intelligence and then move out and report back. In Mech Online you can't really 
games that they do that kind of thing, which sucks because it would be nice to play a kind of uh, recon team, uh, you know, coming back on these larger maps and reporting information, maybe gaining XP and stuff that way, but that we're talking about a totally different what if game in this respect. So, yeah. Um, would I recommend this one? Yeah, not really. Uh, compared to the other versions of the spider that's out there, I can see why the ER large version was good once, but not anymore. Clan tech combined with just a very different style of play nowadays due to balance changes, weapons changes, quirk changes, all those kind of things compiled on top. This really isn't a type of build you would want to use on your spider. If you're going to go for it, you would want to take one that would at least give you some decent uh, attack capability uh, or just avoid the, the spider entirely if you want a light that can actually get kills, which uh, personally I don't think the spider can do. The spider is a great spec racer mech, don't get me wrong, works well in that regard, and uh, it's fun for little mini games like we do on the stream, we do things like uh, the little spider jumping or duck hunt as we call it, and uh, it's a pretty good mech to take on things like bulldogs, but yeah, as far as actual combat is concerned, nah, it's it's not cool. Looks very cool, but yeah, not the best combat mech out there. And this was, as far as the match was this was just one of those matches on Polo. It's uh, one team just, I don't know, just became a bit too immobile, and the other team were the ones that took the initiative. They got aggressive, and uh, as such, my team got rolled. I got that Jenna. That was quite, I, I, was, I was quite happy with myself uh, jumping up in the air and managing to sort of keep a lock on him. I managed to just, I don't know what I did. I must have just got a critical hit on him on the back or something. Blew his side torso off and got a kill. So I think I got one of the team's uh, few kills in the match, but uh, that's about it now. Uh, that one is done and dusted. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.